Hey guys, so greetings from uh, the Lake Lewis Smith area of Alabama. It's in northern Alabama, absolutely gorgeous country. And we got here from uh, Hohenwald, Tennessee, and before that, St. Louis, and before that, uh, Lawrence, Kansas, and the middle of Kansas, and then Denver on this trip. Um, we've traveled. Uh, right about 6,000 miles in the last two months. In fact, today represents the two-month anniversary of, uh, of Chris and I living full-time on the road. And a lot of this has happened by luck, but as time goes on, we're starting to learn that there are things that you have to consider, things that you have to maintain, things that you have to be hyper vigilant about, and perhaps the biggest thing are your tires. So let's start with what tires should be on your rig. So these tires are uh, load rated, speed rated, and People have different opinions about their quality. So when they come off the dealer floor, a lot of them come with tires that are manufactured in China. Um, Westlake is a very popular brand of what's called OEM tires, which means the manufacturer puts them on and that's what they sell them with. Well, I heard, Chris and I heard our rumor on at a campsite about what they referred to as China bombs and I did some research online and there is are a lot of references to China bombs uh, meaning that these Westlake tires supposedly are prone to blowouts well I th then I went on the Grand Design Facebook page and I asked the members what do you think and the majority of folks either didn't have any solid facts against Westlake or they actually supported Westlake tires and talked about mileages in the 15,000 range and so forth and as and the tires they were suggesting to use others had a negative opinions about those so the bottom line is I don't know that there's any statistical database that's going to tell you one over the other but what I did learn is that you have to maintain your tires so and let me tell you why these tires sit in a, uh, uh, in a straight line in your trailer and every time you turn one of the tires on we have three axles but one of your trailer tires is bending around so lateral force is being put on it so what that means is guys the the sidewalls of these tires are literally can be more important than your tread depth. So when you're looking at the status or the state of your tires, be sure to look at the sidewalls because if those aren't in good shape, if there's cracking, you have disaster right around the corner. Um, so the other thing, of course, is air pressure. Uh, and the reason that's so critically important is if your tires are running under pressure when they bend around 
they're far more likely the stress is going to be far greater on the tires. And then what happens is the plies, the, the layers of the, the, that, are, that are around the tire, you've heard of 8-ply, 14-ply, supposedly these are 14-ply, those can separate and cause a blowout just like this. And you don't want that. So um, take care of the sides and by doing that you need to wash them up and you need to treat them. So I've already, I've already washed down this tire but treating them is as simple as using Armor All and getting a coat around. You know I, I used to think that all Armor All was for was to shine these up and make them look pretty on a sports car or whatever. Um, not so. There is lubricant and uh, treatment in Armor All that will extend the life of the tire. So keep your pressures where they need to be. Uh, keep them clean because the more dirt and junk that's in there as these tires are stressing around that just can literally act as a razor blade. Um, and finally keep them treated. Now as far as tire pressures are concerned you can pick up uh, a compressor like this. I think we paid about $130 at Tractor Supply um, so that we would never be without the ability to get our tire pressures uh, where they need to be. But here's something, and it's just a fact. We've been on the road for almost 6,000 miles, and the pressures in all of these tires have been right where they're supposed to be, between 100 and 110 pounds. Um, they haven't budged. So, they're, oh, but they're filled with nitrogen, okay? So I don't know if any of you have experience running nitrogen and have any comments as to how, I mean, it can't be that you use nitrogen, your pressure will ever change. But uh, bottom line is ours have not. I don't know why and it's just a fact. So you take care of your tires. You know that these, these tires are subjected to incredible stress. Make sure that you're running the right tire. And I, did, I mentioned that they're rated for speed. Um, we have G-rated tires. We were told at the dealership we could run this at 75 miles an hour. That's not true. If you have G ratings or lower, I would not exceed 65 miles an hour based on all the research that we did on trailer load ratings and speed ratings. If you have H, which not many of us do, um, you can get up to 75 miles an hour, but G ratings don't exceed 65. Um, so speed, take care of how you drive, know that your tires are being stressed out far more than your car tires uh, just by the physics of how this, these trailers run and keep them clean, keep the tire pressures where they need to be. If you can afford to have a, a tire pressure monitoring system, a TPMS, go at it. Uh, for ours, it's you know over $800 because with a dually truck and six times, you know we've got um, it, it's about an $800 uh, dollar deal to put a TPMS system. So I just tech checked the uh, pressures. Um, anyway, do all that and you'll get the most mileage out of your tires that you can, and you'll run safe. So with all of our two months of experience, but it's, at, it's stacking up and we do our research, these are the hints and the suggestions that we're bringing you from Rolling Help.
Thank <laughs> you.